Hi, hi, and welcome back to another episode of Naturally Awesome. I'm Eva, and in today's episode, I'll show you another apple recipe. It's still apple season, and you gotta enjoy seasonal fruits. And I love apples. So today, we'll be making an apple strudel with plums. Are you excited yet? Then let's take a look at the ingredients. For this rossum strudel you will need 2-3 to three cored and peeled apples and keep the peel on the course. And yes, you don't need a bee. And you will also need 4-5 to five soaked plums that I've soaked for 1-2 to two hours and a few raisins. And last but not least you will need some rectangle fruit papers that you can make by blending up apples and bananas, spreading them on a dehydrator sheet and drying them until they are soft. And finally you will need a mandolin to slice up your apples. And once you've got all your ingredients at hand then we're ready to start making our apple strudel. So first of all I'm gonna water my cored apples and then I'm gonna use my mandolin to grate them and make super thin apple slices and make sure to take care of your fingers Here voila, apple slices. And now we'll use our cores and our peel and put this into the blender. Then we'll add our plums and blend it up until it's creamy. And if necessary, add another apple. Once it's creamy enough, we'll pour our apple plum sauce on top of our apple slices. And give that a quick toss. And if you like, add some raisins. But for me, there always gotta be raisins in an apple strudel. In the following step, we'll use our fruit paper and put a little bit of our apple slices with plum sauce on top, right into the middle, spread it to the sides. And once you've covered it pretty well, we'll Flip the right and the left side on top, put it together, et voila, apple strudel is ready. And you can now take your strudel and put it on a plate. Et voila, apple strudel. And if you like, you can use some of your corded apple slices and put it on top as a little bit of a decoration. And if you have, some eatable flowers work as well. It's ready and you can now put this aside for about half an hour so it soaks through and the dough gets very mushy and soft. So if you like this recipe, then give me a like and if you want to see more delicious, awesome recipes, subscribe to my channel. And until next time, remember, keep it light and simple and as always, 
naturally awesome. See you next time. Bye. So I think the filling already tastes pretty amazing. Well, who needs dough anyway? <laughs>